Hello. Hello. How are you today? Fine, and you? I'm all right, thank you. In this hot day. Very hot. And United States is extremely cold. Extreme, it's true, it's true. They are suffering the, the storm, a very big storm. Yes, um, the weather is, it's extremely cold. <clears throat> All right, what's up, Gio? Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, people. So I was reading today that it's surprisingly the platform was giving you problems. Yeah, surprisingly. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I was is... shocked. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I was shocked. Mm. Let me see, where did we stop? How was your day today? Good? Good. Yeah, quite a few. Something uh, hot, but it's good. Yeah, it was very hot today. I don't know why. Yes. yes. Yeah. All day, classmates are a bit are being very active today yeah i saw that too you know in in the morning i i work in my office so i don't have access to the platform so and sometimes i don't even i don't i i i have like five groups with my work and then whatsapp so i'm always looking like oh. <laughs> yeah sometimes i don't answer all of them because I, sometimes i wish that uh smartphones didn't exist <laughs> yeah. Hey, I, I asked you for permission. Where? When? I told you, look at your WhatsApp. And oh my God. <laughs> and now with Telegram. Yeah. It's, true. it's another another problem, another how do you say tortura? Torture. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Hello, Michelle. Hi, teacher. Hi, everyone. Nice to see you again. <laughs> How are you? Good to see you. And there's Ruth. There's Carla. Hey, good evening. Hi, Carla. And we're missing. Ding, ding, ding. El vuelo 705. He's a good voice. <laughs> yeah. I like her name. I like the name Jordana. I never heard that name in Spanish. I mean, I never, I never heard that name anywhere. Jordana. I mean, I heard Jordan. Jordan, yeah. But Jordana, that's a cool name. All right, let me share my screen. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Hey, Gio, that commercial was funny, huh? Did you see all of them? No, I haven't because I, I was on my way back to. Uh, I got off. I got. I got off very late today, like at seven ten. So I haven't even eaten eaten dinner, so when you know, then I'm I'm gonna see them all. <laughs> I, I saw the message, but the one I sent you was funny, man. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let me see. I remember a long, long time ago, we used to have this person. She was from Panchimalco. But she was like really, really indigenous. And um, one time I was in my room and I was listening to John Lennon. And then I was listening to... Um, give peace a chance you know all we are saying mm -hmm. is give peace. and she thought it was some bible gospel music <laughs> and, I, and i i hear i hear this you know the hell is that and when i opened the door she was outside my room clapping <laughs> so yeah she thought she thought it was like some what? 
So she thought it was gospel music from church. <laughs> she thought think it is very religious. Yeah, and John Lennon. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, John but Lennon. what about lyrics? I'm sorry? Yeah, that's a, a good song, but I don't know what uh, I'm talking about, the lyrics of that song that you say. It's that, give peace a chance. Okay. You know, everybody... For a word, for a good things. Oh yeah, because remember that um, John Lennon was a very, he was very active in, in, in peace. Oh, okay. So, and that, I mean, Imagine, I think is one of the greatest songs ever. And if you notice, he always mentioned, like in that, Give Peace a Chance, he mentions everything. He mentions um, all the religions, he mentions this, and he's just saying, give peace a chance. The only bad thing about John Lennon was his woman. What an ugly woman. Okay. And maybe, I don't know if you can use that piece of chance when you're talking about uh, one real relationship or uh, is incorrect? Give peace a chance. What do you mean on a relationship? Yeah, I, I don't know. I only think about it. If you can use, hey, hey lady, can you give me a piece of chance with you? I don't know. No. Yeah, I mean, you can you can always say, I mean, you can take away peace and put anything. Come on, man. Give him a chance. Come uh, on, people. Um, give Norman Quijano another chance. Yeah. He, he promises that this time... <laughs> yeah, I mean... You, He's crying. Yeah, he promised yeah, that this time... He didn't cry, yeah. <laughs> yes. What a white... Yeah. What a white... <laughs> 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 yeah, you can say, come on, man, let's give peace a chance here. Let's mm -hmm. give him a chance. All right, do you see my do you see my screen? Yep. Yes. Knowledge check. Yeah. Is this the one that people were having problem with? Nope. So this nope. one was cool? No, it's Google. Uh, it's the, the right, let's see. Let's see. Drivers can fall asleep on the highway. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Considering Unless that I didn't sleep for long trips. at all last night. Considering that I didn't sleep at all last night. Unless they rest before long trips. Yes, that one. You know Unless what? They rest. You know what? One time this happened to me, I fell asleep. I don't know, maybe Wait. two, three seconds, but I was so lucky that there was nothing in the car like. Oh man, that was so scary because you wake up like, oh my God. And then you I remember. Driving? Yes. But the problem was that um, I had an accident. I fell from the roof and I was taking this medicine, which was extremely, mm -hmm. extremely. Um, in fact, they discontinued that, that pill. It was called Vioxx because it caused heart attacks. <laughs> 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 yes, to yeah, many people die because like, I remember the doctor told me eat and from a pill only eat one fourth because wow. it was very strong, and my pain in the, my back was so strong that I I ate one completely. <laughs> so, yes. like so, a good Sudan. Yeah, like a good one, and, uh, <laughs> and then suddenly I, you know, that's the only medicine that I really feel like, you know. It hit me. When it kicked in, I fell asleep. But I was coming from San Miguel to here. I could have, I don't know. I always remember that. So it's very dangerous. So I remember what I did because I was very, very, very sleepy. Um, I stopped in the nearest gas station. Like I, I fell asleep right there. Okay. Um, number two, power naps at work are a good idea. <clears throat> as long as long as you have the boss okay as long as you have the boss is okay yeah boss is okay some people can't just i'm sorry some people can't just get to sleep unless they take a bath before uh, 
Yeah. Okay, yeah. Unless they take a bath before bed. Bath before bed. Yeah. I was surprised. I was surprisingly alert at work. Considering that I didn't sleep at all last night. Yeah. Night owls hate to wake up early. Even if it is a beautiful morning. You know what night owls are? It's people, not the animal. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> it's an yeah, it's just an expression for people that like to stay yeah. up all night. Night owl. Night owl. I only drink hot. Um, I only drink mm -hmm. hot milk before bed. If I'm having mm -hmm. trouble sleeping. If I'm if I'm having trouble sleeping. All right. Oh, oh, oh. you lied to me. Unless they rest before long trips. No. Yes, that one. All right, they're all correct. Today they are all correct. Tomorrow nobody knows. Mm -hmm. Now let me see here. Let's listen to the audio. Um, type your answers asking just the names of the people mentioned. Listen to Kate and Sergio talk about their recurring dreams. Whose dream do you think is scarier? Hey, Sergio, do you ever have recurring dreams? Yeah, sure. Why, Kate? Well, I had one last night. I'm back in high school, and in my dream, the school looks mostly the same as it did, but much bigger. The weird thing is, although I'm 23 years old, I'm back in high school with all these 15-year-olds. It's very embarrassing. No one seems to notice that I'm much older and shouldn't be there in the first place. But still, it's very uncomfortable. I keep thinking, what am I doing here? Well... I know it must be the end of the school year because everyone is talking about final exams. And that's when it hits me that I've forgotten to go to math class all year. And there's a big math test today. Oh, that's terrible. Yeah, I'm totally unprepared. So I start to go to class, but then I realize I can't find it. No matter how far, how many hallways, I just can't find it. I know I'm late for class and this really worries me. Finally, I wind up in my math class, but it's almost over, so I've missed most of the test, and I think I'm going to fail or something. Basically, that's the dream. That's a bad one. Do you have that dream a lot? Sometimes. I guess it means that I'm worried or overwhelmed about something that is happening in my life. Yeah, I sometimes have this bad dream. I guess it's really a nightmare. I'm in danger, but I'm not sure from what, and I can't move or scream or anything. I can feel something coming closer and closer to me. You know, it's really strange, because usually in the dream, I'm exactly where I am in real life, like in my own bed, in my bedroom, and everything is very realistic. The only part that is dreamlike is that I can't move. Sometimes I can't even open my eyes, or I can only open one eye. Usually I have to alert someone or possibly save someone, although the person often changes. Anyway, I can't do anything because I can't move. It's really terrifying. Yeah, it sounds terrifying. So what do you think it means? I'm not sure, but you know, I think the dream means that I'm feeling there's something in my life that I can't control, although I feel like I should be able to. Once I had the dream when one of my friends was very sick and I just felt completely helpless. I hate feeling that way. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, some of those are hangovers, but... But let's see, okay. Whose dream do you think is scarier? Sergio. Sergio. Sergio's? Yeah. So yes. yes. And did you put Sergio or Sergio's? Sergio. Sergio. No, just Sergio. 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 
All right, let's listen to the second one. I think it's the same. It's the same. It's the same story, right? Yeah. You know, one time I had a dream like that, that um, I don't know where I was, but you know what stab is, right? Yes. I, I dreamt that I was stabbed four times in my stomach. And I promise you, the next day I felt like my, I, I was walking like, like somebody really did stab me. Really? Yeah, and exactly the four, like, oh man, what, what happened? You know, <laughs> it was difficult to explain because I said, you're not going to believe me if I explain to you, but mm -hmm. I, in my dreams, I was stabbed and, and it really hurts now. And maybe you had cramps in the stomach. Yeah, maybe I had cramps and then the cramps. And, and yeah. you were dreaming about that. Yes. So I'm waiting so one day I can dream with Scarlett Johansson. Okay, so fields is in danger and can't move or do anything. Who would that be? It was Sergio. Next is da, 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 da. back in high school, has to take the test and is not prepared for it. Right. Okay. So. Feeling overwhelmed or worried about something. Right. Okay. There is something in life that cannot be controlled, but should be able to. Search. Yeah. Let me see. All right. Today, everything is green. Let's do the reading. I'm going to do the reading and you tell me if. Okay, to sleep or not to sleep. In the days before electricity, people didn't worry much about sleep. They usually went to bed a couple of hours after sunset and woke at sunrise. After all, there wasn't, um, there wasn't too much, um, there wasn't much to do in those days after the sun went down. Mm -hmm. but, but then came the electric light bulb. And now we have satellite television, the internet, 24 hour convenience stores, and longer hours at work. How much can we sleep? How much should we sleep? Like it or not, many of us are sleeping less on average. In 1910, most Americans slept nine hours a night. That dropped to 7.5 hours by 1975. In 2002, a study by the National Sleep Foundation, I can't believe there is a National Sleep Foundation, found that the average American only gets 6.9 hours. The news is even worse for people who work the night shift. They sleep an average of just five hours. Are we sleeping enough? Not if we believe in the old formula of eight hours of rest, eight hours at work and eight hours at play. On the other hand, Norman Stanley, a British scientist who sleeps, who studies sleep, believes people, people sleep needs vary. Some people need as many as 11 hours, that's me, but others need as few as three. How do you really need? How much do you really need? To find out, he says, simply sleep until you wake up naturally without the help of an alarm clock. That's your sleep need. Meanwhile, meanwhile other scientists and pharmaceutical researchers are searching for new ways to keep us uh, awake longer. Some are developing chemicals, excuse me, that are safer and more powerful than caffeine. 
the chemicals found in coffee and tea, one experimenting drug, CX717, kept laboratory monkeys working happily, healthy, and accurately for 36 hours. Future breakthroughs may allow people to safely stay awake for several days straight. One group of researches, uh, researchers is studying a gene found in some fruit, fi fruit flies that lets them get, I'm sorry, but it's very blurry. I can't see it that good. That lets them get by one on one third the usual amount of sleep. Another group is even working on an electric switch that is that instantly wakes up a sleeping brain. The implications of this research are huge. On the one hand, this could lead to a world where we work longer and longer hours with less and less sleep. On the other hand, if we need less sleep, we would have more free time to travel, read, volunteer, and spend time with family. To sleep or not to sleep, that soon may be the question. All right. Questions? Let's do the program. I can't believe, really, I can't believe there's a National Sleeping Foundation. It's like, yeah, it's like, really, man? What do you do? What do you do there? Talk about sleep. Mm -hmm. How much does an average American sleep? 6.9. 6.9. Good. We know exactly how much hours of sleep we need. We need to wake up, wake naturally. up naturally. And this is actually how many hours of sleep, not how much. Do you know why? Yes, because hours can be counted. It's countable, yes. Yeah. What changed the way we sleep? Electricity. City. In which animals are scientists experimenting on? Monkeys. Monkeys. Good. Da, 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 da. Monkeys. Monkeys. If we need less sleep, we would have more time to? To travel. Travel, read, read spend, spend time, time with, with family. family. I would love more time to sleep. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, let's do to Thomas, uh, to this listening, a conversation between two tourists. And then tell me if it's true or false. Let's do this. Listen to a conversation between two tourists, Kathy and Tomas. Then check true or false. Hi, I'm Kathy. I'm from Toronto. Where are you from? Buenos Aires. Nice to meet you, Kathy. I'm Tomas. Nice to meet you, too. How long have you been traveling in Chile? About three weeks now. What about you? I just arrived two days ago. I'm staying for a month. Good. Then you'll get to see a lot of the country. Yeah, I'm planning to travel from Santiago down to Patagonia. Oh, Patagonia is great. And it's the perfect time of year to hike there. It's not too cold? Not at all. Despite what some people think, Patagonia has a pretty mild climate. And it's summertime now. January and February are the months when most people visit. So there are a lot of tourists down there right now? Not really. Patagonia is far from everything. Usually only serious hikers go there. I've heard one of the best parks for hiking is Torre del Paine. Yeah, it's fantastic. And it has some of the most beautiful views in Chile. Nice. When were you there? I was there last week, but I go every year. Next summer, I'm actually going to volunteer in the park. Seriously? Oh, wow. That's so cool. Yeah, I can't wait.
Okay, Thomas arrived in Chile yesterday. False. False. It was last week, right? Mm -hmm. Kathy is going to travel to Chile for a month. True. 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 No one visits Patagona in January or February. False. False. Thomas goes to Torre del Paine National Park every three years. Sure. False. 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 All right, let's listen to this conversation between two friends, then check the phrases that best complete each sentence. Let's do this one. Listen to a conversation between two friends, then check the best answers. I don't get it, Chris. I'm really tired, but I'm still not sleeping well these days. That's too bad. Maybe you're staying up too late. Well, I usually watch the 11 o'clock news before I turn in, so I guess I am getting to bed pretty late. And what about caffeine? Have you been drinking coffee or tea after 5 o'clock? Hmm, I usually drink tea after dinner. Maybe it's keeping you up at night. I don't know. I feel drowsy when I go to bed, but I just can't fall asleep. And I know I'm tired because I exercise for an hour while I'm watching the news. Oh, that's it. You should probably exercise earlier. I read that some people perk up after they exercise vigorously, so it's not usually a good idea to exercise right before bed. You should finish exercising at least three hours before trying to go to sleep so that you have time to calm down first. Hmm, I've never heard that before. I guess it makes sense. So I should exercise earlier in the day and just relax after dinner? Yeah, just chill out in the evenings. Then you'll probably sleep like a log. Okay. <laughs> Remember yesterday, sleep like a log? Right. Yeah. Okay, the woman goes to bed. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The woman drinks blank after dinner. Tea. The woman normally exercises. Yes. The man says you shouldn't exercise. Right before you go to bed. Right before you go to bed. All right, we got those right. Yeah, well, the hardest one. <laughs> this is the one that was giving you trouble? Yeah. yeah. All right, combine sentences. It says combine sentences, instructions. Combine the sentences using, uh, using defining and non-defining relative clauses. Remember to use the capital letters and periods. All right, let's do. Bulgaria is a small country. Bulgaria is cheap to travel in by bus. Yeah. What did you put? Bulgaria is a small yeah. country that is cheap to travel in travel in by bus. Bulgaria is a small country. No comma? No comma. That is cheap to travel in by bus. You would you would be happy in Bulgaria, huh, Gio? Yeah. No, because I, I hear that Bulgaria has a lot of, like, they have a lot of, like, death metal, and, and it's, it's very big. Yeah. Heavy metal, death metal. Florence is easy. Oh, yeah. Period. Florence is easy to navigate on foot. Florence is a small city. Mm. What did you guys put? 
Florence is a small city that is easy to navigate on foot. Navigate on food. Yeah, that doesn't sound right. Okay. Next, my hometown is a popular tourist destination. My hometown gets crowded in the summer. So what do we put here? If one if wish. My hometown, my hometown, comma, which is a popular tourist destination, comma, gets crowded in summer. My hometown, which is a? Uh, um, which is a popular tourist destination, comma. Gets crowded in summer. Oh, oh what did I do? My hometown, which is a popular destination. Istanbul has great shopping. Istanbul is the home of the Grand Bazaar. Istanbul, comma, which is um, Istanbul, comma, which is the home of the Grand Bazaar. The Grand Bazaar, okay. Has, has great shopping. Plus great shopping, what? Plus great shopping? Hmm. No, I understand because that's the option it gives you, but that doesn't sound right. There is a comma. Plus great shopping. My hometown, comma. Miss, miss a comma in my hometown. Yeah, the number three. Yeah. So this would be the correct. Bulgaria is a small country. So the answer is Bulgaria is a small country that is cheap to travel to. Mm -hmm. Travel in by bus. Uh, travel in by bus, yes. Mm. Florence is easy to navigate on foot. Florence is a small city. Answer is Florence is a small city that is easy to navigate on foot. Or Florence, which is a small city, is, is, is easy to navigate on foot. Or Florence, comma, which is easy to navigate on foot, is a small city. Number three, my hometown is a popular tourist destination, period. My hometown gets crowded in summer. My hometown, comma, which is a popular tourist destination, comma, gets crowded in the summer. 
or my hometown, which is which gets crowded in the summer, is a popular tourist destination. All right, and then the last one. Istanbul, which has great, which has great shopping, is the home of the Grand Bazaar. Or Istanbul, which is the home of the Grand Bazaar, has great shopping. We got that one right. Yeah. We got it right. Yeah. Oh man, I can't take show. So I enjoy vacationing. Blank coastal. Lovely town. Lovely coastal town. I, I yes, I enjoy vacationing in lovely coastal town. Most in most blank in intimidate me. Most big cities. Big cities with, with skyscrapers. Good. Yeah, that's that's a little intimidating when you when you look at a big skyscraper, you're like, whoa. I like to retire in a blank village mountain quiet. Quiet mountain, mountain village. village. Yes. I've always blank bed college towns little. Little college town. Little college town. And next we have when I travel, I try to avoid visiting expensive places. Yes. Expensive places, right? Like me when, when I go out with my wife, I don't know, for shopping. Um I avoid I avoid visiting multiplaza. Or um, Gran Via, because you know, let's go look. So I just want to look. But if you go to like Metro Centro, it's cool because you know you have um, <clears throat> the Dollar Store, <laughs> Dollar City, La Nevería el dos por uno. So, <laughs> so that's why I avoid going to expensive places. All right. Complete sentences. Did you do this part? Yes. Yes. Did it give you problems? Yes. yes. Number six, please. Number six, <laughs> right. Okay, that's so number one. My city has great blank. You can buy anything you want. Shopping. Shopping. The blank is fun. There are lots of clubs and shows. Nightlife. Nightlife. Next, it says all year round there is a comfortable climate. Climate. If you have a dog, you need to live in a city that has lots of green spaces. Green spaces. It's too expensive for me to live in a place that has a high cost, cost of living. living. Cost of living. Cost of living. It's easier to get around in the city that has efficient transportation, transportation system. system. But it, that, that is the problem. That's, yeah, that's it's work. That. <laughs> Really? Okay. I'm sure. Yes. I think it's misspelled. See. Yeah. Me too. I'm sorry. Yeah. I Where? removed the S probably. It's just system. Oh my God. A system. <laughs> Efficient system. <laughs> That's very <very> cool. <laughs> Only system. Oh yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. Nope. Yeah. System, no coma. 
Okay, yeah. no thought. The system. <laughs> Man. But, but, but it's wrong because uh, it's a transportation system is is correct in the in, yeah. in the set. Yeah, it's one of the of the answers. Right. Yes. Yes. System. Yeah. System only. <laughs> <laughs> I prove transportation, but no only system. With this one. <laughs> <laughs> Man. But remember, I mean. It's wrong according to the um, platform, but that doesn't mean that you were wrong. Okay. Oh, man, I Thanks can't. Thanks for that. Yes. Meditating mm -hmm. before I blank at night helps me to fall asleep more easily. Charming. Charming. Before I turn in. After all the excitement of the fire alarm, it was hard for me to calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. I find that going to the gym during my lunch hour helps me to perk up. Perk up at work. Yeah. Perk up. As grandma lives so far away, she'll blank at our house tonight and go home tomorrow. Sleep over. Careful when driving late at night. You might blank and get into an accident. Drop off. Drop off. Drop off. I don't like that. It's hard not to blank when you are working late every night. Burnout. 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 What's yeah. the meaning of perk up? Chispa. Perk off. Come on, man. Perk up. Perk up. You know, like sometimes somebody's in your job like this. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't have the camera. You know, like sometimes somebody's like, uh, Say, come on, man, perk up, perk up. Perk up is synonymous of encourage. What? Teacher, encourage, perk up. No, not really. Perk up is like, he's bad. Okay, what was, where was perk up? Let me see. Oh, I find that going to the gym during my lunch hour helps me to perk up at work because when you go to gym, when you go out, you feel like right. energized. Ooh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Got it. Okay. David, eh, puedes poner la, la, lo anterior que entre tarde a la clase. El, la respuesta anterior. Eh. <laughs> ya no Which sé one? De, de, por B, es, de B. Oh man, this one? This one? Yes, this one. Okay, I'm um hey give me one, one um what I'm this is what I'm gonna do. No that the the, the, the only the fur. The the part the part no this is correct only this part. Okay, I'm gonna copy and paste it to you. Mm -hmm. oh, I need to make a copy. Okay. Yeah, I, I will copy and paste. <laughs> Let me see if this goes. It goes to everyone. Yeah. There you go. Do you see it, Jaime? Yeah. Jaime? The chat. Yeah, yeah. All right, good. There's your cheat sheet. <laughs> Be careful, that's kind of difficult to pronounce. Yeah. Cheat sheet. Cheat sheet. Cheat sheet. Oja de trampa, hoja de copia, hoja de la copia. No, pero hay otra palabra que la gente usa, la copia. Le... Bueno, decían... 
el machón. La chepia. La chepia. La chepia. La chepia. Sí. El acordeón. El acordeón. I remember one time I was very happy because it was like in my high school and uh, my teacher said, okay, um, I, it was the finals. It was like a similar to bias. And then my teacher said, okay, class, I will be very good with you. I will let you copy tomorrow. And everybody, yeah. But the condition is that you have to bring a sheet, a cheat sheet. So I will only give you one page, front and back, write all the notes you can. And I was like, oh my God, this is the coolest teacher in the world. So I remember at night I was reading and copying everything. You know, like and I was making the letters very, very small because I only had the front and back. So then the next day when it was time for the exam, I never used the cheat sheet because I actually studied and I remembered everything. <laughs> so it was a strategy yeah. for the teacher. Yeah, so we yeah. studied and it really worked. I remember that. Because I was like, hey, I, I didn't really need to use the, the, the cheat sheet. And he says, yeah, that was my intention because um, if I didn't tell you that, then you wouldn't study. Oh, hey, that was a good one. Okay, now we are in C, complete sentences. Uh, instructions, read the sentence, then complete the sentences with the following words. Already, check it out. That's C. Already what? Yeah. You want me to check already? Show answers. Yes. Did you do this? Did everybody do this already? Yeah. Only, only, only in the sentence number six. That number was. No, it's it, it be, before. Uh, yes. Yes. System only. But, but only system is, is yeah. not correct. Is by transportation you have to, system. You have to write system only. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. This is this is where we left off. I forgot that Jaime told me to go back. Yes, <laughs> yes. That's why I was, hey, we've done this already. So here it was system, the only mistake, right? Yes. Yeah. It's a mistake for platform. Okay. It's, a plat it's the platform's mistake. Yeah, the platform's platform mistake. mistake. It's a mistake. mistake. <laughs> it's <a> really <laughs> <that song. laughs> Yo quiero mistake. Whose song is that? Men at Work. Men at Work, yeah. Men at Work. I, I saw them in concert when they came. Really? Yeah, it was a good concert. Yeah, uh -huh. I come song. from the land down under. Mm -hmm. They have good music. Yeah. But it was funny because when they sang that song, it's a mistake. Everybody would sing like, get over stack. <laughs> get over stack. It was funny. It's like, you know, that Twisted Sister, where was gonna say there? <laughs> yeah. And, I, they, and they, but they already sang the song with these words. In Chile, huh? Yeah. <laughs> he was, what is huevos con aceite? What? And he sang it like that. It was cool. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I think that, that's my favorite metal band. Yeah, I really like them. Well, they're good. All right. Let's see. Let's see here. Choosing words, instructions. Choose the word that best completes each sentence. Blank, my alarm goes off, I get in the shower. As soon as, as, soon as. as soon my alarm goes off, I get in the shower. Taking a shower, blank, taking a shower, I make coffee. After, After taking I make coffee. Blank, eating breakfast, I watch the news on TV. While eating breakfast, I watch the news on TV. What is the difference between when and while? When and while. Cuando y mientras. What's the difference? 
So can you say when I'm eating breakfast, I watch the news on TV? Uh, so, yeah, when you really uh, are doing something. It's in the action. Yeah. So it's when you're in the action. Exactly. exactly. Right but uh, why this is a period of time, the difference. You're you're doing two things at the same time. Okay, so when do, when two things at the same time, what do I use? While. While, yes. We use while when two actions are happening at the same time. Yeah. When do we use when? When. It's when you finish one thing, you start the other one. Yes, we use what. No, we use when when one action interrupts another one. Interrupts another. Okay. Um, so look, I was watching TV when my mother called me. When, when interrupts and while two actions. At the same yeah. Time. So one action was in progress, but it was interrupted by another action. That's right. But yesterday I was watching TV when my mother called me. So of course that means I stopped this action to do the other one. Yes. Yeah. It's like did you see did you see that that news about about that woman from PDC or PCN, I think that she killed that cam officer? Ah uh, yeah. That was sad. So according according to the news, she was driving while she was drunk. Drunk. And yeah. the poor policeman was working when he was killed. You see the two actions? Yeah. Okay. Number four, blank, leaving for work, I take the dog for a walk. Uh, right before. Right before. Number five, blank, I'm late, I take a taxi instead of the train to work. Whenever. Whenever. Yeah. Whenever. Whenever I'm late, I, I take a, the taxi instead of the train. are no trains. Blank, I arrive at work, I sit in front of my computer all day. From the moment. From the moment. The moment. Part two, assess instructions. Match the sentences halves to form complete sentences. I can fall asleep easily most nights unless. I start thinking I start about thinking problems about at work. Problems at work. Problems at work. Do you watch Mr. Bean? Yeah. Did you <laughs> I, I love Mr. Bean. <laughs> Women, do you like Mr. Bean? No. Yeah, yeah, every woman <laughs> hates Mr. Bean. I don't know why, man. Yeah. My wife, I hate that man too. Mr. Bean, dude. <laughs> well, remember that episode, uh, Gio? I don't know. Did you watch that episode yeah. when he couldn't sleep? And he's. <laughs> Counting sheep. Mr. Bean is, is stupid, you know, right? Yes, so that's it, why I hate it. But it's stupid. But he couldn't sleep, you know. And then, you know, he moved. So he started counting sheep. One, two, three. But then he counted so many sheep that he got confused. And so he, yeah, no, he started taking out a calculator. <laughs> so he got worse, you know. So ah, Mr. Bean. I love him. <laughs> Bean. He never speaks. All right. Next we have I sleep soundly all night as long as it's dark, it's dark in my dark room. In my room. Uh, in my room. Yes. I sleep well if I don't sleep with my wife. And this is true. Um, 
when we got married, we never thought about that problem we have because my wife likes to sleep in complete silence. And, you know, she goes to the room, turns off the, 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 the lights, and she can go to sleep. I, in the other hand, I need to watch TV. <laughs> and I need a fan. Hey, that's me. Yeah. You know, and I said, no, man, I need to watch TV because that's the only way I can go to sleep. But I can't go to sleep like I sleep, sleep. <laughs> so that's why generally I have my own room. So maybe like when I go to the bathroom, like at two in the morning, I change and I go back to our room. Sometimes, sometimes I don't. I feel pretty good today, considering that. I only got four hours of sleep last night. Good. I feel pretty good today, considering that I only have 75 cents in my pocket. Mm -hmm. I keep a glass of water by my bed in case I get thirsty at night before last night. I get thirsty at night. Yeah. I always go to bed at 10 p.m. even if I have to get up early the next day. Let's check. Yep, we are cool. Okay, Houston, we are in. Okay, the next is the reading, reading exercise, but you know, we have only two more minutes for class so that we can continue tomorrow. Yeah. All right, so tomorrow is what, okay. Wednesday? Yes, Wednesday. Yes, yes Wednesday. All right. So, teacher, um, I received another message from Flor. Oh, I'm sorry. I have a question. Who's the, was it in this class that somebody received a message from a different email or something? Yes, it was me. It was you, Michelle. What happened? Can you explain that? Uh, I received an um, email. Well, it was not an email. It was a WhatsApp message. And she asked me to send the papers again. Uh, to a very random email, so I thought it was weird because I have already sent it to the one that you asked me. And what was that email? Do you know? Anna Sanabria Robert at gmail.com. It was a normal. The domain was gmail.com. Yes, that's, it didn't have any institutional reference, yeah. let's say. Yeah, that's strange. I would recommend to change your password from all your from all your uh, accounts. Okay. Maybe, maybe you were hacked. Maybe. So I'm, I'm not saying, I'm, I'm, I don't want to scare you, but maybe <laughs> it happens. Yeah, hey, it one happen. time, one time, so one, time one time I sent a porno video to my aunt. Troll it. Yeah, I, my aunt was like really offended and shocked. I'm aunt. Why would it, you know, somebody hacked my Facebook account and they started sending videos that were not. <laughs> I said, you, 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 you was tro um, uh, trolleado. Yeah, I was hacked. <laughs> no, no, that's not troll. Troll is when somebody makes fun of you. <laughs> yeah, troll is. All the politicians in the in this moment, they are all being trolled. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone. Take care, Ricardo. Yeah. <laughs> Not continue trolling, Ricardo. <laughs> and you know that yeah. that word now is in Spanish, huh? Un troll. Yeah. And that's a like a a recent word that has become Spanish now, un troll. Yes, it, it exists. Google now it's a verb. 
<laughs> Facebook is a verb. WhatsApp is a verb. San Google Studio. <laughs> you know when people say, hey, um, you see in Facebook. Facebookado, hey, Ricardo, Facebookado. <laughs> Yeah, hey, hey, what's up me tonight and see what we're going to do, all right? You know, that's, people say that, what's up me? I'm going to what's up you. In English, in, English, in English, remember what I told you last time? Any any name or word can become a verb. Remember remember that expression? Hey, shut up or I'm going to Van Damme you. Van Damme you. Yes, it loves you. I'm going to Mike Tyson, you man. <laughs> yes. Okay, class, then I'll see you tomorrow. Nelson, okay. nice talking to you today. Uh, sorry, teacher, but I, I, I have uh, a hard day because yes. uh, I, took, I took, no, I took my father to the doctor and I was. Uh, 3 p.m. in the clinic, but the doctor arrived at 6 p.m. And then I I took my father to San Martin from San Salvador, and I just arrived in my home. Okay, is your father yeah. okay? Yeah, only is a, a, a ultra like a like a picture in your stomach because uh, like a scanner have a problem yeah oh, okay. and, yeah in central scan oh, okay. is the, yeah but sorry for no it's okay, it's okay. well I, i'm glad your father is okay then okay thank you okay class i'll see you tomorrow yes you. we'll finish okay. tomorrow okay. okay okay i'm yeah. going to ask you tomorrow we about about platform because a floor okay. is continue Oh, yes, team. please ask me about that. I'm sorry. Yes, Ruth, I'm sorry about it. We'll continue about that. So uh, Friday, we have a pizza party. Um, I will invite you to pizza. So I will send you virtual pizza slices. Oh, yeah, Thursday. Class. You invited. You invited. The class is virtual, so that's why this Christmas I sent okay, money to all my family and friends, you know, virtual. <laughs> you sent bitcoins? <laughs> yeah, bitcoin. bitcoins. <laughs> hey, do those still exist? Do they still exist? Yeah. They do. Yes. Yeah, they Does it work? Do you know? I don't know. You know, one time I met an Uber driver here that he told me that he was into that and it really works. I wish I could, but I'm trying to get more information on how to do it. Yeah. Maybe look for a group here in El Salvador. There must be one on Facebook. Bitcoin El Salvador. I'm pretty sure there, there will be one. I'll take a look. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. All right. Thank you, Thank you very much. Thank I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.